All in all, it was 78 feet at the bottom. They did call the cops on us when we asked them to move the fence and the trees. And I stepped over the white line that we painted on the ground. And immediately, I mean, as soon as I did that, the crazy neighbor comes on the camera and says, the cops have been called. You need to get off my property right now. Yelling through the camera to me and the buyer of her home. So we have had an issue with our neighbors. They were mad that we mowed this little section right here. There wasn't a fence there. Um, that's their fence that they put up. We kind of thought that was the property line too. Well, we had a survey done today. That white line, right there, it's our property. So it turns out all that petty that they did over us mowing their lawn, they put up cameras, six private property signs. Those are trees that they have been planning to put all along for privacy. I should also add that this goes down the hill. We have an acre of land, so they were trying to steal about 30 feet up here and 58 feet down there, all the way down the hill. It's 336 feet down the hill. A neighbor drama doesn't end here. We had the survey done and a week later they moved out. They took the fence down and moved out. I mean, after calling the cops on us seven times um, for trespassing on, on my property. So that is their house. This is my house. The um, old fence is right here. So it was about six feet from my house. It was a couple feet behind what is now my basketball hoop. Um, they had used it the whole time. I always thought it was ours. All in all, it was 78 feet at the bottom, 26 feet at the top. I put a T-post right in the middle of their driveway because then they treated us like the whole time they were here and then even after the survey they were terrible to it so yes they did call the cops on us um, when we asked them to move the fence and the trees that they had planted they were refusing to do so the cop told them they had to or i could take everything but they moved out the next week crazy neighbor saga continues oh my god they haven't lived there for over a month now um the house has been listed for sale well anyways her and i were the buyer of the house we're sitting out there and talking and we were standing like on the property line and she was saying, oh, there's some holes in the vinyl siding that I need to have repaired. And I told her, hey, my dad gave me a bunch of vinyl siding and it might match. I don't care that she has cameras. I have cameras too. It's the fact that the camera points in my bedroom window and the fact that the camera points to my house. Not hers. It's, it, it's pointing on my property. She sits there and watches us. So today our neighbors came to with a U-Haul to like come get the rest of their out of the house they decided they were gonna park through the, the yard and our properties are on like this huge it's pretty steep and they got the u-haul stuck no i'd rather not grow up i like being a kid i wouldn't have gotten my truck stuck i thought it was so hilarious and karma's a bitch good job she got the survey done right i mean to think they were claiming almost 80 foot of our own land that is huge Madness. Now, a comment on her original video also pointed out, if I'm mathing correctly, they were claiming about a third of your property. <laughs> and they were the ones calling the cops on her for trespassing on her own property. Make it make sense. And quite a few comments on her original video were so confused, just as confused as me. They said, wait, they got mad that you mowed their lawn. I would be so ecstatic if my neighbor did that. Me too. It's one less thing for me to do. But thankfully, it sounds like that's the end of her neighborhood drama. Fingers crossed her new neighbors are a little bit more friendly.